All right, my friends, happy Pisces new moon to you. Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope, your Pisces new moon horoscope for Saturday the 13th of March 2021. We've got a lot of Piscean energy going on. We have Venus at 19 degrees. We have Neptune at 20 degrees, the ruling planet of Pisces. We have the sun and the moon at 23 degrees of Pisces. Okay, these are all within a conjunction. Although they're not all in the same exact degree, anything with about six degrees is considered a conjunction. So Venus is what we love, what we want, what we desire, personal things, as well as people, other individuals in our lives. Venus exalted in the sign of Pisces. There is no limits to our love. There's no limits. We can dream as big as we want. Our hearts can expand and be full of joy as much as we want. As well, Venus is creating a little semi-sextile over there to Jupiter at 19 degrees of Aquarius. Okay. Once again, about expansion and seeing a vision for the future. Okay. A vision for the future, which is good because a lot of the Piscean energy is, is non-descriptive. It's not focused, okay? It's this space, it's the air, all right? And we have the sun and the moon at the same degrees here. I'll show you the chart. At 23 degrees, okay? New moons are new beginnings. It's time to set on a new journey, okay? The Piscean energy in general is we're going inward, okay? All three of the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, where there's no energy right now, Scorpio, where there's no energy right now. This deals with our emotions, flowing water, right? When the water meets the hard rock, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it doesn't stop and turn around. The water flows. These hard edges of our lives, right, that hard rock gets smoothed out by the emotions, by the water, okay? Now, the Cancer energy, the Cardinal energy, deals with a lot about self, okay? Is the first six signs in the zodiac deal with self, right? Me, myself, my things, my thoughts, my emotions, my will, my abilities uh, to, you know, creativity, what I can do and offer to the world. Then we start, seventh through the twelfth deals with other people, right? Our relationship with the other, uh, our, our shared resources between other people. This is not just my thoughts, but group collective thoughts, okay? This isn't just mom and pop Main Street, this is Wall Street and big business, right? This isn't just about my ego or my personal, you know, flair and abilities. This is about collectively coming together as a group. And what we can, what we can bring together is the group, right? The social, uh, the social sign of Aquarius, okay? There's a lot of energy going on here, expanding our social uh, environment as much as we can, our soul tribe, if you will. And then we have Virgo, Pisces, Axis, okay? where this is very defined, very focused energy. Here, not defined, not focused. Here, this is, this is a specific thing, a specific tree, or a, a specific task, or a specific duty, or a specific ability. Over here, we can dream, okay? Maybe right now, we are this. Maybe right now, we're an accountant, or we're, uh, you know, work in a certain field, or whatever it may be. And over here is the possibility Okay, so with all of this energy, especially with, with Venus creating this conjunction to Neptune and the sun and the moon is extremely powerful. Okay, this is one of the best new moons of the year because of these conjunctions. Okay, where we can dream, where we can think outside the box, where we are allowed to not be limited by what is, but having that vision for the future. And Venus being this loving aspect and, and creating the little semi-sextile over here to Jupiter, this allows us to be boundless. Well, what are the possibilities? And can I bring those possibilities into an abundance in my life and, and see this vision for the future? So first it starts with planting the seed, that idea, right? Then what can we do? How can we run with this? Who do we need to communicate with? Mercury here in Aquarius. Who in the community do we need to communicate with? Saturn in Aquarius, right? This is let's make that real. Let's not just dream about it. Let's make it a reality, okay? So this new moon is asking us to think big. This new moon is asking us to go inside. There's not necessarily decisions that we have to make right now. You know, if we absolutely have to make decisions, then that's something that we need to do and, and, and you know, 
sometimes that's where we're at and, uh, and it is what it is. But if we don't have to make a hard decision right now, and especially with Mars down there in Gemini, it's still seeking. It's still figuring things out. Where am I going? Which way is right? Which way is left? Which way is up? Which way is down? What's the, you know, where's that hidden key to unlock the door in the escape room? You know, it's just one little space, but I have to search all over for this one thing that allows me to get out of here. Okay. So if we don't have to make a decision on something right now, it's a great time to go inward, to meditate, okay, to sit with oneself and, and allow the intuition, the inspiration from spirit, from source energy to kind of flow through us. Okay. Now on the other side of the coin, for the energy of Pisces is escapism, okay? We might uh, have to make hard decisions or have to do the work, right? Which that's Virgo. Virgo's let's, let's do the work. Let's, let's stay focused. Let's get the job done. And Pisces is, is, can be aloof. It's saying, I don't want to necessarily do this job. I don't necessarily want to get out of bed and, and at this particular time and, and go through the routine of daily life. Okay, so at times we can escape through social media, we can escape through the news or watching television, we can escape through uh, substance use, we can escape through uh, focusing more on what's happening outside, right? We sometimes focus on other people's problems to take away the fact that we have stuff that we have to deal with, right? And the emotional water signs deal with the inward, the stuff that's not physical, the things that you can't see. It's a feeling, right? Cancer, these are my emotions. Scorpio, these are my desires, right? And, and in Pisces, this is my dreams. This is my ambitions. This is my creativity that I want to, you know, I've planted a seed. I have an idea. I have a thought. I have an emotion that's fueling this. And now, because that exists in the non-physical, I'm able to manifest that through my work, through the creative, through doing something into the physical world, right? So we're able to manifest from the non-physical into the physical. And it starts with a dream. And we still have Venus just five deg uh, four degrees away from squaring the notes, something we've been talking about the past couple of days here on this channel, right? What are we willing to leave behind and what are we moving toward? How good could life be? What is the dream job? What is the dream? And now I understand as well, like not everybody's going through a shift of, of, of changing careers or finding a new relationship. There's a lot of people that are very happy in the relationship, but there's always these areas where we can improve upon things, right? We're constantly expanding human beings. Okay. So this is saying, how can I improve aspects of my relationship? How can I improve aspects of work? Am I able to maintain calm, still waters amongst chaos around me? Right? There is often times where, you know, we, 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 we talk about being the change, not asking to change other people. You know, I put out this uh, little video the other day about the tolerance paradox, where, where to be tolerant, we have to be tolerant of intolerant individuals. We have to be tolerant, and it, it's, it's a paradox, so it sounds odd, but it is what it is. Um, but it's about being that change and not asking everybody else to change around us. So as we're doing this inner work, solo, individually, that doesn't mean everybody around us is also doing that same inner work to put them in a, in, a, in a space that is similar to the path that we're on, right? So it's about maintaining a vibration and not escaping. Sometimes there is conflict. Sometimes there are conversations that need to be had. Sometimes there are decisions that need to uh, be made. And this isn't necessarily a time where we can just run from those things, evade and escape those responsibilities. Okay. Another aspect of this new moon here is this sextile over here to Pluto. Okay. Pluto left back here in Capricorn doing its job since 2008, which is about transformation. Okay. Transforming how we govern ourselves transforming the governments at large, transforming the worldly governments, okay? Uh, transforming our concept of personal authority, transforming our boundaries, okay? Now, this is extremely important where we have this sextile coming up here, you know? It's only three degrees off. Our personal boundaries, where we are limitless beings, okay? And anything is possible, 
We all have a special skill, a special talent, okay? But that doesn't mean, you know, it's like people say all the time, oh, I can't sing or I can't paint or I can't, you know, I don't have a creative bone in my body. And, and sometimes it's just allowing yourself to, to go there with it, you know? Uh, you know, like we talk about Picasso the other day, you know, not being like Rembrandt or not being like another traditional painter, but, but finding, finding your own way to do it. Or even so, outside of Picasso is is what like um, oh I just had the name on the tip of my tongue, uh, um, the expression painter where he just literally threw through stuff. Oh, I'm drawing a blank and now it's bugging me. Um, not Andy Warhol. It doesn't matter. I'll think of it as soon as I hit stop on this video. Um, but but just allowing ourselves to express. You know, throwing paint at the canvas because it feels good to have a splash of yellow or a splash of red. And we can apply this to any area of our lives. I'm not saying that we all have to be painters, okay? But it's stepping outside of our personal limited boundaries, stepping outside of our own limitations or the thought that we are limited and allowing us to rediscover life, the North Node in Gemini, right? Letting go of this collective thought that the world says, ah, you are this, you are this. You're a machinist. You're uh, an accountant. You're uh, a secretary. You're a waiter. You're a manager. You're a CEO. You're whatever. You know, we're multifaceted individuals. We're lovers. We're creators. We're ambitious. Okay, we have all. We wear all wear many many hats, but the world kind of seems to put us in this single boundary. This 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 limited concept of who we are. And we have this opportunity in this new beginning to free ourselves of what the people can think whatever they want to think, right? It's not up to us to determine how somebody else interprets who we are or our intentions, okay? As good as they may be. May be. And right now with the, all this free kind of love and wanting to forgive and connecting with source, all of this energy asking, asking us to expand beyond our own limitations, expand beyond you know, our hearts, you know, uh, our minds, our minds limit. Our hearts want to expand. Our heart wants to love, right? And, and again, with, with the, the Virgo-Pisces axis, Virgo is left mind, Pisces is right mind, okay? And the left analytical mind, we, we can have, the scientists have done this study that you can have two completely different thoughts and feelings about the exact same subject, depending on what side of the brain is firing more. Okay, so on the left side, it can, it can be cutthroat, it can be this decision, absolutely not. And on the right side, there's possibility, there's, there's opportunity. There, there exists this playground for us to expand and to explore beyond, again, our own limited beliefs or our own limitations. Okay, and it's just asking us to go there and to not run from it, to not evade from it. As well, it's asking us to seek our own truth, to seek our own path, the North Node and Mars down in Gemini, to where we're not just following and believing everything the news says, not following and believing everything that's on the media, right? We have the opportunity as free thinkers to think and feel for ourselves. And this new moon, this new beginning that happens at 5.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay, we get to tap into this unlimited nature, our non-physical nature, the water that flows, okay? And another beautiful aspect of this mutable sign of Pisces, where this is about my emotions and this is about my desires, you know, and, and, and uh, what can we create with other people? This is almost one of the most selfless signs in the zodiac, Pisces, okay? This is the grand master that sits on top of the mountain, as well as the infant child, okay, that knows nothing but fingers and toes, the tip of its nose, okay? So the Pisces energy is very unique, the two fish, okay? So we have this opportunity to tap in to see our shadow, to see the inner work that needs to be done, to see potentially what we're running away from that's limiting us from expanding to our fullest potential, how cool is that, right? So this happens at 5.20 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So if you're doing a meditation, if you get up early in the morning, you're doing a meditation, I recommend not doing it, you know, today when I'm putting this out or whenever you see this, but after the new moon, after that energy already exists, because that's when that point becomes finite, 
You know, oftentimes we want to rush ahead. Oh, you know, we put people put these new moon and full moon videos out weeks ahead of time. And then by the time we get to them, we're already seeking the next thing, the next, the next, the next, the next. And this allows us to sit in these waters to sit. I don't want to get out of the hot tub just yet. I want to sit here, right? I want to enjoy this moment. Not just thinking about what's next or, or, or worrying about the future or worrying about the past, right? Thinking about the past is depression. Worrying about the future is anxiety. But here in this moment, we can sit. And when we quiet and still our minds, we can listen. We can have those difficult conversations without going beyond our own limits, right? Something else I know I've talked about on this channel, we yell when someone's far away. Hey! When we yell it when someone's right here, it means we're far away from ourselves, right? So we have this opportunity to, to confront some of those more difficult things, to not evade, to not run away, to not bury ourselves uh, in the social media or in whatever, the video games or whatever it may be that's a distraction from doing the inner work. And we have the opportunity to say yes to life. We have the opportunity to expand ourselves, look at our own shadow and make decisions clearly from, from, from spirit, from source, right? This beautiful, beautiful energy, my friends. Expansion, expanding the mind, expanding the ego in a healthy way, allowing us to live freely, allowing us to love freely, allowing us to forgive, allowing us to be unconditional. And it's a new beginning. As, as we're about to hit the equinox here, as the moon's about to move into Aries, which has hit the ground running, fire energy, fire energy, fire energy, right? We can take this moment of stillness Go inside, breathe, relax, and then when it's right, we can figure out the decisions that we need to make to figure where we are going, how we're going to get there, who we're bringing along with us, and fill in the blanks, right? Have a beautiful new moon, my friends. As always, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you. I wish you enough, and we'll see you tomorrow.